Hey everyone, Techni here. Now we're not doing a keyboard review here, but what I'd like to talk about is Altimu switches. Not really Altimu switches per se, but I want to talk about red switches versus brown versus blue. And you can pretty much take this across the board, whether you're talking Gatoron or Cherry MX. I mean, sure, they're all having a little bit of differences here and there as far as build and then uh, pressure and all that stuff. But as far as sound, you pretty much take it across the board how they all sound. But again, we are testing Altimu switches here. And we are doing this test across three of these exact same keyboards we are using the diarrhea aka the diarrhea keyboard now if you want a full review of the diarrhea keyboard i will leave the link right down in the description right there because we did do a full review before and i honestly love this keyboard which is why i didn't mind buying the three different key styles here you know because i just really love this keyboard for the price tag i think right around 45 bucks give or take maybe 50 it is honestly as i stated before the best case of diarrhea you will ever have now one quick thing this keyboard does come in black switches as well but as you can tell I did not pick that one up because it's fairly similar to the reds as we'll get into later but again I just want to let you know that it does come in the blacks as well all right so number one what we're gonna start off here is talking a few numbers now no I am not a big number guy you know I don't go in the store and say Meh, hmm, how much force does it take to press this key down you know what I mean that's not what I do but hey some of you might be concerned about that now again as far as the Atima switches here they all across the blues the browns and the reds here they have four millimeter track travel distance which is from your key press all the way down until when it stops right there which is four millimeters as far as the actuation whenever it registers it from your uh, press right there to registers onto your screen they're all two millimeters uh, minus the blue I believe is 2.2 so anyways let's get to the point right what we're all here about right how do they feel and how do they most importantly sound now talking a few numbers as we're getting into the sound test here I just want to let you know the force within each of them now they measure these within CN which is centi Newton I believe it's called but you can also convert that over to uh, force grams or gram force, something like that, and just pretty much add a gram on top of that right there. So the reds come in at 50 CN, or again, 51 grams, roughly right around there. Um, the browns are 55, and the blues are 60. If you're wondering, the blacks are 65. All right, so first off, what I want to do is start with my favorite, which is the reds here, and the reds are very nice, smooth, and linear switches. Now again, you guys are probably about, give or take two and a half, three feet from the mic, and I'm gonna let you get a little sound test here here and then I'll bring you in. So anyways, the reds right here. Again, it's just very smooth. Whenever you press it, it's just straight down. Not much pressure. No clicking or anything like that. Just a very, very nice smooth feel. As again, it just feels like your key press, which I honestly really like. And again, reds are my favorite right there. But I'll put you in here a little bit and actually give you a close sound test and everything. All right, so now which one I want to talk about is the blues right over here, which is a fan favorite. If you look online, you can find so many keyboards with blue switches. I know a lot of people really like them. And as you can tell from back there, I mean, these suckers are loud, right? When you press it down, it's like almost you got that key press, bam, then you get this click, and then you finish out your press, right? So it's kind of like press, click, press. Right, so, uh, and again, you can really decipher it whenever you're in game. I mean, you can really, really decipher your keys. I can kind of compare this to like a key, a uh, typewriter kind of, you know what I mean? And again, you can really decipher your presses within game. So it's very, very nice like that. Me personally, I don't like blues. Like, you know, if I'm just playing a campaign game, I don't want to hear this in the background. Like, good night, like, come on. But hey, let me go on and pull you in a little closer here and let you get a sound test.
All right, so now let's go to talk about the brown switches here. And why I say this for last is because this pretty much feels like a combination of the reds and the blues kind of squished into right here. You get that smooth, uh, quiet sound like the reds, but again, you get that little tactile feel like the blues right there minus that loud clicky sound, you know what I mean? But now all in all, I don't even think I can recommend a switch. You know, I can tell you what my favorite is, which is, as I said before, the reds. You can pretty much just decipher it yourself as how I stated right there, right? Do you like that real clicky? And if you're in game, you can really decipher your presses right there, you know what I mean? You can get this right here where you get that tactile feel and again, decipher your presses, have a little bit more force in there, you know what I mean? Or go with the reds where I feel you just snappy and straight to the point, smooth and quiet. But hey, please do let me know down in the comments what color your favorite switch is and why. Because again, I think it's a really fun topic to talk about because again, someone may absolutely love the browns are like me i absolutely love the reds and i swear by them you know what i mean but then again you come to blues and some people absolutely love this sound like they just they absolutely love it again i think this would be a good topic and let's talk about it down in the comments but hey thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video i hope i was able to help out just a little bit i know it's pretty hard shopping online for keyboards with all these switch options and everything like that and you can hear someone else's opinion oh like me like i'll rave about the reds but hey you may not like the reds so again i hope i was help able to help out just a pinch if even but hey again seriously thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos and i hope i catch you in the next one bye now